This video shows you how to make an unpowered terracotta valve using components bought from local shops or the internet. For example, a half inch solenoid valve, two ring magnets and an adjustable dripper. Remove the four screws from the solenoid valve and carefully remove the solenoid from the valve. Remove the base plate from the solenoid and reattach the base plate to the valve. Connect the bush to the valve inlet. Connect the elbow to the valve outlet. Connect a piece of 19mm poly pipe to the barb on the elbow. Use a 21 64 inch drill bit to increase the inner diameter of one end of the acrylic tube. The drill bit should rotate anti-clockwise to avoid damaging the fragile acrylic tube. Insert the grommet into the drain hole. Insert the acrylic tube into the grommet so that it is flush with the bottom of the pot. Using a sharp knife, cut off the grommet so that it is flush with the bottom of the pot. Slide the acrylic tube over the white plastic shaft. Using the pool noodle and a sharp knife, cut the 40mm lower float and the 15mm upper float. Cut the threaded joiner into a 30mm piece and a 10mm piece. Insert the magnets into one end of the lower float so that the magnets are flush with the bottom of the float. Screw the all thread poly riser into the 30mm piece. Screw the other end of the all thread poly riser into the 10mm piece. Insert the 30mm piece into the lower float. Apply a thin layer of glue to the outside of the 10mm piece and insert the 10mm piece into the upper float. Slide the float over the acrylic tube. Using a masonry bit, drill six equispaced holes in the terracotta saucer. Drill an extra hole next to one of these drain holes in order to attach the cable tie to the saucer. Attach one end of the four millimeter poly pipe to the adjustable dripper and attach the other end to the takeoff adapter. Punch a hole in the 19mm poly pipe and insert the takeoff adapter. Use the cable tie to secure the adjustable dripper. Position the valve in a suitable location in your garden so that the evaporation matches the evaporation at your plants. Connect the water supply to the valve inlet and connect the irrigation application to the valve outlet. Most smart irrigation controllers respond to weather data from the Bureau of Meteorology. The unpowered terracotta valve is more energy efficient because it responds to prevailing on-site weather data rather than the data from the Bureau of Meteorology. And nothing is more energy efficient than unpowered. More information about the unpowered terracotta valve can be downloaded from the Measured Irrigation website. Thank you.